Good morning, it is currently a glorious morning here in Killarney and I am just getting ready to pack for Bali, so it's a busy, busy day. But I have to go to the Audi 80 event to swap a set of wheels. So I'll bring you guys with me and uh, show you around the car and kind of quickly talk about some of the plans I have for that car. So these are the wheels I need to swap. They're just like the standard style Boleros using Mam's Dacia Duster to help me do this. But I bought the car about two years ago and part of the deal was he'd take the wheels that were on the car because they were refurbed. I'd swap around the wheels. Unfortunately, we only kind of got around to getting the wheels off him in the last kind of week. So he needs them for tomorrow because he's putting his Avant back on the road. I'm going to throw these on. My plan with the car is to put it on the likes of Rotiform wheels now that we're a Rotiform dealer anyway. I'm not really too bothered to be honest. It's just something to have under the car. I'm just grabbing a couple of tools out of the shed. I need my low profile jack but I also have a couple of spares here. I have two front seats for an Audi coupe slash Audi convertible if anyone ever wants them. They're like half leather, half cloth. And to be honest, I have no need for them. I have a box of Audi Coupe stuff, spares, which to be honest, I'll probably keep most of the stuff in it because I got it off uh, Connor Owlt, who has that stunning blue BMW E34. Another intake manifold, a couple of bits I took off the car before. And we have something really exciting. It's a full 7A head. This is the same type of head that would be in my Coupe Quattro. I'm after finding out that these are actually quite desirable because they have sharp cams and that makes them great for the likes of swapping into something like an S6, which might be perfect. So the cams in this are a good bit sharper than what would standard be in the turbo engines, similar enough to what would be in the RS2, for example. What this head could also lead itself to is if I was to get a 2.5 diesel block, similar to what Dara McNamara did with his Drift Quattro, I could put this head on top of it. Oh, and another one of the goodies is we have this tubular manifold, which I'm gonna put on the Coupe Quattro at some stage next year, as well as somewhere in the corner, there is a there is an RS2 steering rack. Let's stop getting distracted. Let's get our low profile jack and get out of here. Can you tell that I like having spare Audi parts? Two rear bumpers. I oh, know, one rear bumper, one front bumper, or both spare. Today we are gonna to be talking about my Audi 80 16 valve Avant. And I'm gonna walk you through my plans with this car. I bought this car back in June of 2020, but I actually tried buying this car over a year and a half earlier, back in January 2019, and it was up for sale in Limerick. I just couldn't find anyone to transport it from Limerick to Killarney, so I ended up not being able to buy it. Kind of a year later, I was out of cars and coffee. This thing happened to be on like a trailer, and sure enough, it was for sale. It's for sale in Killarney, so I decided to do a deal, and I then bought it at the time. Since then, I've just got overrun with other projects and other things to do that I haven't had a chance to you know, drive it. And I know it looks in a little bit of a sorry state, but I, my plan is to take it out of here early next year, or maybe even in a couple of months when I'm back from Bali. There's a lot to like about these Audi Avance. I just love the shape of them in general, love wagons. What I want to do is replace this piece with the kind of heck blender style piece that you'd either see in the S2, where this piece itself is like reflective red, or else the one in the RS2 where this whole piece is reflective red and where the license plate is then in the bumper instead. In terms of interior, we have a full gray leather interior with a sunroof and we also have those dials or the clocks the same ones that we have inside in the coupe quattro inside here there are a lot of similarities between this and the coupe quattro the dash itself is the same layout uh, the hazard switch in the coupe quattro is actually this switch but on this side we have the same kind of like vent controls they're actually a slightly different shape i never noticed that they're more kind of rounded off radio with a cassette player because obviously 90s and as i say these dials which are exactly the same as the ones in the coupe quattro gray leather interior gray doors gray door trims gray dash <laughs> gray everything gray carpet even and yeah this is a two liter 16 valve car it has about 156,000 miles down on it it's also a very well minded car over time um, because it seems like the same owner had it since it was imported in i want to say kind of a year 2000 something like that so i think it was only three four years old when it was brought into ireland and the owner was a german guy and if i can find the book it's not right here but there's a booklet about this take of every single thing he did with the car you know he kept this car meticulous Unfortunately, the person I bought it off didn't have time to do it, and I also haven't had a chance to do it yet, but that's gonna change soon. See, when it comes to projects like this, I wanna be able to put my full time and effort into doing them and doing them right and making sure that it is kind of financially sustainable and all of that. And now that I'm a Rotiform dealer, 
I think this could be a really cool show car for that because you don't really see many Audi 80s and you especially don't see many Audi 80 Advance. I know, is it Ryan McHale? Ryan Mc I He's gonna kill me for not remembering his name properly, but he's building a red one of these. Um, I think it's a 2.6 Quattro, um, and he's building it up as an S2 rep, and it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna sit on nice Avises, but I think this, I think this, I, I should put it on Rotiforms and have it as a nice show car. Tidy up a lot of bits. I have a couple of ideas in terms of what direction to go. Maybe I'll go down the route of S2 Tribute. Maybe I'll go down the route of RS2 Tribute instead, or maybe I'll just kind of have like an OEM Plus kind of look about it keep a lot of the features um, but put like a standard coupe actually do you know what we'll go outside so aside from wheels the biggest thing that need to be changed on this car are obviously the bumpers I don't really like how these kind of like bumpers just kind of wrap in too much it's like they've just got no kind of chin to them what I'm thinking though is to use the bumper off an Audi coupe I'm pretty sure I have Audi 80 B4 headlights where this is all one unit and because I'd be using a coupe bumper then the indicator is kind of a wraparound one here I think we can use the same fog light I think that's exactly the same part number as what would be on a coupe and it'll just kind of make it look a bit more just a little bit more aggressive and a little bit kind of more upmarket the closest that an Audi 80 Avant would have come to that would have been in terms of the S2 itself where it has that slightly even more pronounced chin the same bumper as I have on the Coupe Quattro at the moment. I feel like I want to just put aero discs on anything and I think this could look really cool on aero discs or maybe Rotiform's AVS wheels which are based on Audi Avis wheels. Get colour matched door mirrors so body, body paint matched door mirrors, tidy up all of the kind of trim pieces, obviously wash the car get it properly polished. I think I'm gonna keep these wind deflectors because I, I've never really seen them on other Audi 80s before. And with the roof racks, I want to get a roof box for the roof of this car. So have it low, but with a roof box. Oh, and also put press plates on it. I could also go down the route of, in quotation marks, backdating it by putting orange side marker lights on it. I have this set. I thought about putting them on the Coupe Quattro, but um, I'm not really sure about that. It should undo itself somehow. There we go. So that's what the headlight array looks like if you have the small headlight with the uh, side marker attached. And this is that booklet that I talked about. He has absolutely everything about the car, how to work on the car, all of those, all these details on how to work on the car, receipts from things, part number, markers, <laughs> absolutely everything. Gives you a good idea of what needs to be done to this car. And we also have the original Audi 80 booklet inside here with, you know, all of the instruction manuals for Audi 80, Audi 80 Avant S2, wish we had one of those, as well as dealer listings, road atlas, a lot of nice bits in here. It's a shame I haven't got around to this project any sooner, but it's just the way it is, unfortunately. So yeah, I better swap those wheels around, but let me know what you think I should be doing with the Audi 80 16 valve Avant. Should I engine swap it? Should I just throw wheels and callovers on it? Maybe a roof box and call it a day with that and then drive it on as it is. Should I 1.8T swap it? Should I maybe even try V8 swap it over the next few years? You let me know. Should I go completely mad and try find another Audi 80 Avant that's in a bad state? Cut it in half, make a trailer because this thing has a tow hitch. I'm taking a look under the bonnet of this car. We can see we have the 2 liter 16 valve ACE engine code car. Big Spidey. Hello, Spidey. You're not meant to be here. Looks wise, in terms of like because of the intake manifold and a couple of other bits, it's actually quite a similar looking engine to the 7A that's inside in the 20 valve coupe quattro with just one cylinder missing. So that's why we have the rods in front of the engine rather than over here, and the battery is here rather than over there so yeah let me know what you think i should do with this car and hopefully when i'm back in ireland i will be able to get a chance to start working on it if you've enjoyed this video please make sure to check out the other channels tiktok instagram all of those uh, make sure to follow and also make sure to check out retrogarage.ie your your one-stop shop for rotiform wheels kw suspension st suspension and press plates and more we've managed to fit everything into the back of dutch that's your duster so i am delighted